Hi everyone, it's Tammy at Luther for City and welcome back for another episode of Color Combo 2024. I'm glad you're with me today. I am filming this on Monday, so I hope everyone is getting um, excited about the eclipse this afternoon and I'm hoping you're in the area where you will be able to see it. Um, we are in the path, but we are currently cloudy and getting some rain showers. And so, I don't know if it's going to clear up this afternoon enough for us to see it or not. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And, uh, I mean, I'm assuming that if, if nothing else... You know, it's still going to get very dark here for a few minutes. So, um, that will be very interesting. We were in the path, uh, partially of the last one. And it did get dark and you could see it pretty well. The best one that I remember is when I was, I think I was in the third grade, and we had a total eclipse, and I was on the east coast, and um, it got completely dark. I remember that it, um, we made these little boxes in school that you look through the hole, and you could see you know, the reflection of the eclipse, and it got really dark, and the, uh, when the, um, sun came back out, the roosters crowed, and, um, like it was daybreak all over again, which was kind of cool, um, so yeah, I'll be curious to see what happens this afternoon. Okay, so Color Combo 2024 this week is a crescent, the shape of crescent, and copper. So, I found these couple of Tim Holtz pictures of a dance, and these couples are setting, well, this couple and this, these three here are setting in a crescent moon. This actually looks like two two different dances, doesn't it? Because the back the moon is opposite directions and one has bigger stars in the background than this one has cloud and stars. But regardless, they're both crescents. So I'm gonna use that as my crescent. And then, as far as copper goes, I have this scrap piece of Tim Holtz paper that is kind of copper, rusty um, colors on it with these teals, and it has some music in the background. So, I thought that would go, and it's kind of urban looking. So, I thought that would go well, and I've got uh, this little tag that I made that I put copper grommets in and I've got a copper this actually was not copper it was uh, antique bronze and I put some of this on it um, I got this off Amazon and uh, it's called Rusty but you can see it's very coppery. It's more copper than rust. So, um, I'm trying to see if it has a color on it. No, it just says rusty. So, but the company is Viva. And you, like I said, you can see it's a wax. And you can see it's very coppery. So, I have put that on um, 
the head of the sporad, and I also put it on a pull tab because I'm going to use that for my tab at the top and put this through here if I can hold on to it to um, hold it on at the top of my tag. And then um, I'm going to wrap this wire around somewhere. So that's going to be our coppery bits. And I'm going to make a pocket down here on the bottom of the tag so that we can tuck in some bits and pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is angle my tag and ink it up. And you could use this two ways. You could either glue it down as a tuck, which is probably what I would do in this case because it is such a big um, tag, or you could use it just as a tag. But it's basically a tag with a pocket. Okay, and I'm thinking that I'm going to, do I want to do it this way? No, I'm going to do it this way because my tag won't show up as well on that side. So I'm going to do a little pinch in the middle. And then I'm going to um, put a notch in it. And I'm going to put it just a little bit so it looks like a crescent as well. So that would be kind of my second crescent image or shape, I should say. There we go. And that went right down my shirt. <laughs> I couldn't have done that if I tried. Okay. Now I'm going to wrap. When I put the pocket down, I'm going to wrap it so that it has a little bit more room in it rather than just um, you know, cutting it off. I'm going to wrap it around the sides. So I'm going to glue the bottom. <laughs> my dog Lily has one of those um, they're called goofballs but it's basically like a rawhide that's shaped like a ball and uh, she's throwing it at me wanting me to throw it for her <laughs> she's funny She actually has very good aim with her throw. Okay. She, since her other dogs have, they're no longer with us, she's very lonely. Very lonely little lady. 
these days. Not that she doesn't love getting all the attention, but you can tell that she misses a playmate. Okay, so now I want to take this and I want to take this copper wire and wrap around. How do I want this to go? Do I want it to go behind? Yeah, I think I want it to go behind like this. And I'm going to wrap it a couple of times if I can, if it's long enough. just because it's not very thick. I don't know if it's going to be, what I could do is, sorry why I fiddle with this. wrap it like this and make it come back up through this one. Maybe try to tie it and make it look like a bow. Somewhat like a bow. Like I said, it's very thin, so it's very pliable. Maybe what I should do is make the loopy parts with another piece. Then wrap it. I can't even see what I'm doing. It's so thin.
two hours later. There we go. It's not the best bow in the world, but it's okay. We got it on there. And then what I can do is put a piece of tape on the back so that if I do make it a tuck, I can, um, it won't get caught with whatever I do to make behind it, like a journal card or whatever. I'm just gonna kind of cover that wire up on the back. Okay. Now, let's rough up our pictures a little bit. Let me grab my paper distressor here. Or do I want to trim them? Let's trim them with the deco trimmer. I think they'll ink better. I'm doing it just where it barely hangs over the edge of the blade. Oops, that one slid on me. Totally crooked now. Still crooked. Come on. Sorry, I know this thing makes terrible noises. That's better. Please out of the way. All right, now let's do some inking. Put some creases in the corner. On the side there. All right. And I'm using vintage photo ink.
All right, so there's our photos. So those will go in the pocket, and I think both of them will fit because um, cause I wrapped it. So yeah, those both go in there. Now you could, if you wanted to, make this double-sided and do a pocket on the other side and put the other picture on the other side. Um, I am sticking both of these together because my thought is when I put them in a journal that I could make another journal card and make one go behind and one go in. But for the time being, I'm putting them both in here um, just so they're together. Okay, now for just a little bit of added interest, I've done this little cluster and it just has a old vintage stamp. It has an old vintage um, bridge coupon. It's for uh, a ticket that you had to buy to cross the toll bridge in um, Maine and just a little digital kind of rusty piece and some vintage music. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take a rusty paper clip and I'm gonna clip it right on that photo. And then on the other photo, which I need to get another clip, I'm gonna take this piece of Tim Holtz film strip or a uh, yeah, film strip, and I'm going to clip it on that one, and that's just to add, so everything's not so flat, I mean, it doesn't really serve any kind of purpose, and you could take another ticket or something small and put on that back one as well, um, I don't think I have anything handy, but for example, if you wanted to put like a, um, a label or, you know, there, I, I think there is a Tracy Fox label that says dance on it or something to do with dance. Let me see if I have one. Take out my label box here. This is just a tea box um, that I found at a garage sale, estate sale, something. I don't know. I've had it for a while, but I finally got around to painting it and putting this gorgeous paper on the top of it and on the inside of it. But it's great for holding labels. So... Um, or any pizza small ephemera. So I have finally started to put my labels in here. Part of my organization I did over the last week, the end of last week. And I'm thinking that Tracy has a label that says something about dance on it. I won't dig too long. If I can't find it fairly quickly, I'll find it later. But it would go well if, if my mind is not yeah. It says dances. This one's blue. I don't know if I have it in another color. Oh, there's a brown one. That'd probably match better. Okay, that wasn't too awful long. But most of the things in here are Tracy labels. I do have some of the Tim Holtz strips over here. But 
yeah, so keep your eye out for a tea box. Great for labels. All right, so I'm gonna snip these corners. I'm gonna ink this up and we'll put that under that paper clip. Where we have the film strip there. Just like that. Now let's put our little tab on here. Do I want something underneath it? No, I think it'll be all right. So I'm gonna get my pokey tool here. Fold out my little prongs. Now this takes, if you put these on here like this, it does take one of the bigger brads. The small ones go right through. But the bigger ones work just fine. And these are Red Bull tabs. Um, so they have a smaller space down at the bottom because they have shaped that smaller space like a bowl. So you might have to do even a bigger thing than that if you use something. I'm gonna snip this off just a little bit. It's a little long. I don't want it poking. I probably could have done it with my scissors. Probably didn't need this cutter because that is such thin wire but anyway um you might need a bigger brad if you're using a different kind of pull tab for example if you're using one you know off a of soup thing let me see if I've got one of those over here. Like, for example, if you're using one like that, you can see the hole at the bottom is much bigger. And so you would have to come up with another way to... You could just glue it. And I'm sure it would hold just fine. Or you could turn it up this way probably would be the best idea with one of these. And then just glue it on rather than using the brad. But the Red Bull ones have, you know, the hole is shaped like a bull. So the hole is a lot smaller. Okay. So that, I believe, is going to do it for our make today. So we have our crescent and our little moons on the pictures. And also, oh, I need to move that down. I can't even see the crescent on the... I cut in there for the thing, can I? See if I can pull this tape off and move it down a little. There we go. And we've got our crescent for our little tuck spot there. 
and then for copper we have our pieces up here we have our wire we have our grommets and i believe we've got it covered so there you go there's this week's make for hashtag color combo 2024 don't forget to use the hashtag if you're posting to social media so that I can find your post and see your beautiful work. Excuse me. Um, next week, the prompts are the shape of a pentagon in the color burgundy. And next week, don't forget, I will also be giving you the prompts for the next four weeks. So, until tomorrow... <gasps> Oh, sorry about that. Sneeze snuck up on me. Um, when we're going to do No Digitals Allowed, I hope everybody enjoys the eclipse this afternoon. If you're able to see it, and has a good evening, and I'll see you guys back tomorrow. Bye.